Every year, thousands of people underestimate the sheer power of trains. They watch a freight convoy or a passenger train roll by and assume that as long as they keep a little distance, nothing can happen. To most, it's just a massive machine hauling cars from one place to another. But the truth is far more complex and far more dangerous. Getting too close to a moving train means confronting one of the most powerful machines ever created by human engineering. Today, you'll uncover the invisible force that surrounds you. And why not even standing a single meter away from a train can keep you safe? The physics start working long before the train passes in front of you. When it moves at 100 km per hour, it's not just pushing steel forward, it's also pushing air. That displaced air creates a low-pressure zone along the sides, known as the Venturi effect. That airflow can pull objects with more than 100 pounds of force, strong enough to drag a backpack, a bicycle or even a human body toward the tracks. It's invisible, but very real. Many of the incidents documented at stations and crossings share the same cause – underestimating physics. But air pressure isn't the only danger. The real threat lies in the train's mass. A freight convoy can exceed 5,000 tons, and a high-speed passenger train can reach speeds of up to 300 km per hour. Now think about this. A freight train moving at 80 km per hour needs more than a full kilometer to come to a complete stop. Even if the engineer hits the brakes instantly, inertia is unforgiving. There's no technology capable of stopping that much mass in just a few seconds. That's why, every year, thousands of railway crossing accidents end in tragedy. Now let's talk about the engineering behind this force. Modern trains use diesel-electric engines capable of generating thousands of horsepower. But they aren't designed to stop quickly. They're designed to move colossal loads as efficiently as possible. Their brakes, massive as they are, rely on compressed air systems that take time to activate across dozens of cars. That delay, combined with the weight, turns any braking attempt into a losing battle against physics. Now let's think about the economic value of what these trains carry. In countries like the United States, 90% of consumer goods travel by train at least once. Grain, steel, automobiles, chemicals, fuels – all of it moves across the country on rail. A single train can haul the equivalent of 600 cargo trucks. Each car is insured, and a derailment can cost anywhere from 10 to 30 million dollars in direct damages. But the real impact goes far beyond that. Delays in the supply chain, factories shutting down, products never reaching stores, and prices rising. And that impact reaches you as well. When a train derails or an accident shuts down a rail line, it's not just a distant headline. It means less fuel available, less food being transported, and fewer industrial parts delivered on time. In other words, every rail incident ends up affecting your wallet and your daily life. But let's go back to what it really means to stand too close. The data is clear. The Federal Railroad Administration in the United States reports more than 2,000 annual incidents related to rail crossings and unsafe proximity. Most of them don't happen because the train fails. They happen because people underestimate its speed or place too much trust in their own judgment. The human eye cannot accurately judge the speed of an oncoming train. It appears slower than it truly is, and that optical illusion costs lives. The physics of the impact are even more brutal. A collision with a train can release more than 400 times the energy of a car crash. That means it doesn't matter what vehicle you're driving or how fast you try to swerve. Against a train, you don't stand a chance. And the statistics confirm it. More than 95% of collisions involving trains are either fatal or result in severe injuries. Recklessness near the tracks doesn't just endanger human life. Thousands of livestock animals also become victims when they're herded too close to the rails. And even though it may seem like a minor detail, the economic and logistical impact is enormous. A single freight train can be carrying millions of dollars in goods and stopping it is anything but immediate. When a cow, or an entire group of animals, wanders onto the tracks, the engineer has no choice. Physics is unforgiving. The train cannot stop in time. 
The result is the loss of the livestock, damage to the convoy, delays in delivery, and in many cases, multi-million dollar liability claims. Let's talk numbers. In several Latin American countries, insurers estimate that collisions with animals cause losses of up to $15 million a year in repairs, damaged cargo, and delays. But the tragedy goes far beyond money. Meat and milk that never reach the market affect producers, transporters, and consumers. What begins with a single bad decision in the field ends up impacting the entire supply chain. And ultimately, your wallet. The lesson is clear. A train won't stop for one cow or for ten. A safe distance isn't just for people. It's for livestock as well. Keeping animals away from the tracks isn't a formality. It protects lives, protects money, and protects the economy that depends on every rail journey. There are also invisible risks. Trains transport hazardous materials, fuels, corrosive chemicals, and pressurized gases. An accident doesn't just mean a collision, it can mean the release of substances that affect entire communities. The 2023 derailment in Ohio was a reminder that environmental and human costs can last for decades. And yet, there's a fascinating side to all of this. Trains are one of the great marvels of modern engineering. Every rail line, every car and every signaling system is designed to maintain a steady flow that connects entire regions. Without trains, global trade would collapse. They are a silent backbone supporting entire economies. Prevention is in our hands. Automatic barriers, warning lights, and proximity sensors exist to keep us safe. But no technology is enough if we don't respect the distance. A train is not a car. It doesn't stop because you want it to. It doesn't change direction. It has no room to maneuver. The only way to avoid an accident is to stay away. Always. And now I ask you. Do you think rail safety education should be just as important as road safety education? Leave your opinion in the comments. So the next time you hear a train whistle or feel the ground vibrate, remember this. It's not just a mode of transportation. It's a force of progress, a marvel of engineering, and a tool that keeps the world moving. But it's also a reminder that physics doesn't negotiate, and it doesn't forgive. Keeping your distance isn't an exaggerated precaution. It's survival. Subscribe to Club de Creadores to discover more insights about how engineering and logistics shape our world.